Hello there Automation Superheroes! My name is Andrew and welcome to Contratech Solutions Online Superhero Academy. Our goal is to bring you a series of online demos, webinars, and all the technical know-hows about smarter industrial automation. In this episode, I'll demonstrate on how to scan the back of I.O. terminals. In the previous video, I have demonstrated on how to create a TwinCat 3 project and also help you become familiarized on the TwinCat 3's engineering environment. Now I'll show you how to configure a 16-channel digital input and a 16-channel digital output EtherCAT I.O. terminal. This time, I will add one unit of EL1809 24V DC digital input terminal and one unit EL2809 digital output terminal to the I.O. configuration of the back of PLC system. Still, I will be using the CX9020 embedded PC as my controller, the one that I used from my first video. The I.O. devices can be configured in two ways, offline or online. The distinction between online and offline mode refers to the existence of the actual I.O. hardware, I.O. terminals, I.O. box modules, or drives. If the I.O. configuration is to be prepared in advance, this is only possible on offline configuration mode. In this case, you will manually add all the components of your system in the configuration. For example, your I.O. configuration will be based on the electrical design where all the I.O. components of the system is defined. If the design control system is already connected to the EtherCAT system and all the components are energized and the infrastructure is ready for operation, meaning you have all the hardware, the system is already powered up, and you have a connection with the target device, the TwinCAT configuration can simply be generated through scanning from the runtime system. This is referred to as online configuration and that is what I'll be demonstrating on this video, the auto-scanning of EtherCAT terminals. I'll start by setting up the hardware for my control system. I'll add 24 volts DC supply connection for the power contacts of the CX9020 in order for the connected I.O. terminals to have a 24 volt supply. Then, the first I.O. module that I will add is the EL1809 16-channel digital input module. Next is the EL2809 16-channel digital output module. Now that the hardware is ready, I'll apply power to the system and connect an Ethernet cable to the CX9020 with my programming laptop. Technically, this episode is the continuation of episode 1 where I have demonstrated how to set up the CX9020 embedded PC. If you haven't watched that episode yet, you can check the link on the description below. To learn more about this hardware, check the links below for the data sheets and manuals. Now that my back of control system is prepared and my computer has a physical connection with the target device or the CX9020, I can now proceed with the online configuration of I.O. terminals using the TwinCat 3 engineering environment. But first, I need to check if my computer has a good connection with the target device by using the ping command. Just go to the search bar, type in CMD, and open the command prompt application. In the command prompt application, in the first line, type in ping space the IP address of the target system, which is 192.168.0.1. This is the static IP address of the target system which I have assigned on the first video. Press enter and we can see that I have a good connection with the target system. Close the window. Okay, so the next thing that I would do is to check if my computer already has the route information of the CX9020 controller. So to check for that, just go to the TwinCat menu, Router, 
Click on Edit Routes to open the route dialog. And we could see here that I already have a connection with the CX controller with the 192.168.0.10 static IP address. Then just close this window. Verify that my computer has a good connection with the target device. I'll now go back to my TwinCat project and select the correct target system. So currently, the selected target system is on local or my computer. So what I need to do is select the CX9-20 as my target system here in the TwinCat engineering environment. So to do that, just click on here, choose target system, click choose target system again, drop down the local, and I could see that the CX9020 is currently available here. Click on OK. It will ask you if the active solution platform should be changed. Just click on yes. So it's important not to miss choosing the correct target system. Now that I have selected the appropriate target system, I can now proceed on the online device search or online scanning of the I.O. terminals. But take note that the online device search can only be used if the TwinCat system is in config mode. Blue TwinCat icon or blue indication in the system manager. The online search is not available in run mode. Note the differentiation between TwinCat programming system and the TwinCat target system. The TwinCat icon next to the Windows clock always shows the TwinCat mode of the local PC. The system manager windows shows the TwinCat state of the target system. We could also see that the scanned I.O. terminals is arranged based on the actual hardware setup. The first one is the 16-channel digital input and the second one is the 16-channel digital output as arranged on actual setup. To access the information of each I.O. terminal, just click on the main node of the term under this term 1, configuration 3. For example, the EL1819. These are the information that can be seen. The name, object ID, the type which describe the overview of specification, and also the status of each input channels. And here on the Term 3 EL2809 tab, we could also see the same types of information and also the online value of each of the 16 channel outputs. The configuration is now complete. I have successfully scanned the connected I.O. hardware through online configuration, but I've only demonstrated the most common I.O. modules. Stay tuned for the next episode where I will discuss how to create a PLC project. That's it for this video. If you want to learn more about Contratech Smarter Automation, you can visit our website at www.contratech.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our social media accounts. See you in the next video!